Alien Sons is a miniatures war game of interstellar combat that puts you in command of a fleet of mighty battleships, sleek destroyers, and agile fighters as you join up Gold Rush to claim the stars. In this video, we'll take a look at the Command Helm and check what the different command abilities do. At the top of the Command Helm, you'll see a credits tracker with spaces for a D100 and a little profit or deficit tracker. I'm going to go ahead and put a D100 in my credits tracker, set to zero because that's what you start the game with. And I've got this little profit and deficit token that I've downloaded from the Billion Suns website. We'll put this in here and we'll put it on deficit because that's likely where I'm going to start in the first turn. Each round in a Billion Suns starts with the command phase. And at the start of the command phase, you get to assign three command tokens plus whatever the scale of the game that you're playing. Let's assume we're playing a scale five game. There are three areas on the command helm to which I can assign command tokens. Seize initiative, jump in, and tactical. By assigning command tokens to the seize initiative command, I'm able to alter the type of dice I roll during the roll off to determine initiative. By changing the type of dice, I end up with a lower spread of numbers, and in a billion suns, low numbers are good. Command tokens placed in the jump in command will allow me to activate during the jump in phase. By spending a command token from the jump in command, I'm able to deploy a jump point, requisition and deploy a single battle group, or pass. In the first turn of the game, I'm likely to want to put a fair number of command tokens in the jump in command because I'm going to start with nothing on the table and I'm going to need to put down both jump points, which essentially create my deployment zones, and then jump in the battle groups that I need to get the jobs done and stop you from getting the jobs done. As I spend command tokens from the jump in command to requisition new battle groups, that's going to cost me credits. As I spend those credits, I record what I've spent using the credits tracker, likely driving me initially into deficit. Later, as I begin to score from the contracts on the table, I'm again going to record the revenue that I make on my credits tracker, hopefully pushing me back into profit. The third area on the helm is the tactical. By assigning command tokens to tactical, I get options during the tactical phase, either during my activations or yours. Let's take a closer look at the tactical commands. First, we have the Combined Orders command. At the start of any of my battle group's activations, I can spend a single command token from the tactical area to select up to three unactivated friendly battle groups that are wholly within mass plus three inches of any ship in the active battle group. And then I can activate those additional ships at the same time as the active battle group. This allows me to group activate a selection of ships so that they can all move weather passive attacks attack and scan simultaneously. That means I'm going to need to activate a large battle group and then combine orders with a set of smaller ships to support them. Used at the right time during a game, this can be a very effective use of a command token, essentially combining the strengths of two different kinds of battle group. Power to inertial dampeners is a command effect that I can use at the start of a friendly battle group's movement step. And this allows me to spend one token from tactical and permit the battle group to shoot its primary weapon systems even if it performed high G maneuver this activation. That means I'm able to pivot the ship by any amount and then move without sacrificing its ability to attack with its primary weapons. This can be very powerful for getting the jump on someone. The next command effect is executive override. At any time during the activation phase, even during an opponent's activation, I can spend a command token from tactical to re-roll a single dice of any type. And I can actually spend this multiple times to re-roll the same dice. Power to engines is again used at the start of a friendly battle group's movement step. By spending a command token from tactical for this effect, you can double the battle group's thrust value for the rest of its activation. This can be particularly powerful when combined with the vector order, which allows you to move twice in the movement step ordinarily. So you can move twice with double your thrust value, giving you four times the range on your movement. Power to weapon systems is naturally a popular use of tactical command tokens. Before rolling to attack with a friendly battle group, I can spend a number of command tokens equal to that battle group's mass to subtract one from the result of every attack dice of one type in the attack pool to a minimum of one for each command token spent. This both allows me to hit more easily and crucially means I'm more likely to roll critical hits and do more damage to you. The final tactical effect is power to shields. If a friendly battle group with a shield value of one or more is targeted with an attack, after the attack dice are rolled, but before you roll your shield saves, you can spend a number of command tokens from tactical 
up to the mass of the battle group to add one to the battle group's shield value for each command token spent for that attack. So if it's really, really important that a battle group survive an attack, I can spend command tokens from Tactical for power to shields in order to make that battle group more resilient. And that's the command helm. Assigning command tokens cleverly to your command helm during the command phase will help you execute your plan successfully during the remainder of the round. It's worth saying that when you initially assign command tokens during the command phase, it's done blind, so you can't see what I'm placing and where, and likewise. So if I'm looking to seize the initiative, I don't know if you've spent on seize initiative. If I'm looking to spend from jump in on a later round in order to surprise you with a battle group, you're just going to have to predict that that's what I'm going to do. To get the command helms, head on over to the yourbillionsons.space website and download them for free and print them out. That's it, Junior. Welcome to the rat race. Come <laughs>